It's 7.20 oh, and Bob's this. the door is on one end of the look building. Bob right from all over here. <laughs> Bob, don't pick your nose down. Behave. <laughs> this week in real estate with Bob Zadora for all your real estate needs 870-405-0793 retiredarkansas.net can we put the computer where it says down on the corner and show this uh, show uh, retiredarkansas.net now he's getting picky <laughs> yeah, hey dude the, we're lucky can't put that these on. guys came up with this during oh. the commercial break so oh, yeah. this is a good thing this, this very is how I used thing. to do the Eastside Baptist yeah. broadcast you put it on the four screen so this week in real estate with Bob Zadora, you need some listings. I'll tell you what, we put a listing in on Monday and it was under contract yesterday. Is that right? Saturday, Saturday actually. So I mean, it's still things are still happening. Uh, people, this is truly finding you the right home for the right time of your life because the times of your life are going to be a little different when we come out of this than they are going in. Uh, but it's you know, people still, life still is going on. People are moving. People have things that they have to do in other places. People have things that they have to do here. And that's, that's what we're finding. Uh, How are you doing showings? Showings have been, they've slowed down some. Uh, are we, you doing we've FaceTime been, showings? Yeah, we've or? been, well, we've done uh, some walkthroughs with uh, the camera, you know, go by, take some, take some video. Uh, but we've had people, but we're making sure that they're buyers, you know, not just tire, and not around a lot of tire kickers people who would normally, you know, want to go see something, do something, not so much of that right now. I mean, everybody's being a little more, um, those that are coming to buy something are buying. Are buying. And, and so those that were just kind of coming around to check out the neighborhood, see what's here, because people aren't traveling. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going from here to Tennessee to Kentucky as they, as they work their way through, mm -hmm. looking at this band of weather, uh, this band of niceness, as it were. Um, so they're not traveling like that. Hmm. It's going to blow up when this is when this settles down, and if the rates stay anywhere close to what they are, uh, it's just going to explode. That'll be Katie bar I mean, the door, huh? It, it really will. Yeah. So you getting any phone calls like North, like Chicago, Des Moines, Milwaukee? Yeah, we get calls, and it's calls from all over. People, you know, people are getting out of the weather because it's still kind of. My, I talked to my yesterday, and it was still, you know, it was cold and windy, colder and windy, and the clouds are depressing people as yeah, well, yeah. Um, and people are going to—they're going to leave. You know, I think that we're going to see the uh, people leaving the bigger towns. I think uh, you're going to see small town America come back a little more. Well, and maybe that's one of the better outcomes of the coronavirus because you know New York and New Orleans are two of the bigger cities that have really been affected by this, yeah. and people may want to bail out if you can retire and move and, somewhere and, I think, and get in yeah, the rural area. I think area. that they're just they're looking to get out of the bigger cities anyway. It's been an, a kind of an ongoing thing, mm -hmm. and I think that to see uh, this may be the catalyst for a lot of them to say, yeah, be. this is it. This is what we're going to do. Huh. Um, well, you know, jokingly, when throughout the week when we do the weather and I say you know my friends in St. Louis yeah. I know how old they are because we went to grade school together but seriously they could be looking at southern Missouri or northern Arkansas to retire in the next three to four or five oh, years sure sure and, so and, that's and why it's I just a matter of people wanting to have what we have here this isn't for everybody you know and we and we say that all the time there's things that we don't have here that people think they sh need to have to live their life mm -hmm. I think that this may uh, at the end of the day, this may show people that you don't need all of the things that you thought you needed to live your life. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see a difference in that. You know, there's yeah. going to be a change of, just because of the magnitude of this. There's going to be a change in, in the way we, the royal, we all live. You know, I remember I had a friend years ago. His dad's day-to-day -day routine, you know, the old union style was you clocked in at 7 you know, you took your lunch break at 11.30, went back at noon, and, you know, you got off work at 3.30. 3.30, they went to the tavern, had a beer, till about 5 o'clock, went home and had supper. Yep. You know, that was a whole new routine. But now, you know, you've got those that, you know, the kids are moved off, and mom and dad may want to go have a steak and potato with a glass of wine or something, perhaps, you know. So sometimes the lifestyle that they have now may not be what they can get in rural areas. Is that... Well, it's just it's just different. I mean, it, it's a slower pace here. I mm -hmm. think that we're a uh, a more welcoming. Oh yeah. Here than yeah. in other places, and I 
that's a good thing. That's what people want to come here for. They come here for that's what we sell here. It's quality of life. You know, you can buy three bedrooms, two baths, and a lot of places, but you can't buy the quality of life that we have. When there's an issue in turning out for small businesses and supporting the local restaurants, trying to keep these places open, that's what we're going to do here. In the city, they're just it's just another place. I mean, you're just another guy. Here, people look out for each other. They're going to be here to help somebody take that thing off the shelf that they can't quite reach more so and more quickly than they do in other places where it's get out of the way because I got some place to go. Um, we're yeah. going to abide by don't meet in large groups. Right. They're still doing it in a lot of these places. They're still having, you know, house parties and stuff like that. I, you know, I think that we have a little, I'm not going uh, to say more common sense because that wouldn't be the case. But I think the people are a little more aware here and more aware of their neighbors and those, those around them. Yeah. And that's a good thing. That's why, you know, that's why we're here. So talking about house party, boy, boogie down and put on my Bob Dylan records and got me a glass of chocolate milk. What a party. There you go. You, you, and, you and Pepper <laughs> just tearing it up. up. Him and Pepper tearing it up. <laughs> just stepping out. But I'm going to tell you what, I, if, if I'm going to, you know, we've been pretty good with staying home and, and hiding out because, God, it's just such a great place to be. You know, you could stay here. Your houses aren't right on top of each other. If we were still in a condo down at Wells and Polk, I don't know that I would have this smile on my face by now because I probably wouldn't be as uh, relaxed in, in being able to see this a little better than, uh, than if I was there. Uh, Jason lives down in the loop and uh, he the place the building that he lives in there's a bar and a restaurant downstairs well the bars closed but he can go down and get food so that's that's worked out for him and Rob's up in uh, outside of town and it's a little more a uh, little more country up there and he's gonna be okay too because you know when you got a little bit of space and you're not looking at the neighbor next door and all you see is the hallway and you look at the windows and another tall building that's a that's a tough thing to do that's you can't go out there's nowhere to go yeah you know I was supposed yeah. to go up and get my up and see my last week and it was just nowhere to go that was before I mean this is kind of progressing a little quicker than uh, than we know what to do with it yeah um, but mom's good and, you know, but this is the place to be this is a place where you want to be able to uh, come to to be able to live a better quality life. Uh, I, I, I didn't get a chance to get, get a picture, but there were like six guys waiting in the, you know, in trout fishing, waiting in the river. I said, now that's social distance. There you go, there you, you know, go. They're all, <laughs> and that's just normal, normal everyday stuff there. Yeah. And a lot of guys are out fishing. A lot yeah. of people are out, at, you know, get on the water, weather's good. That's a great thing. Got a quick thought. You know, you say you need some listings, and we'll get to the numbers here in just a minute, but this would be a good time to get on the phone and get the preliminary stuff set up for listing the property. Yeah, yeah. Lenny. And you don't have to be face to face or in the office. You can still. Well, we want to get, yeah, and we want to get as much of the paperwork done and get the disclosures out to people, let them get them filled out, let them, let us start to get the information on the property. Linda's going out with Darlene on Wednesday uh, to list the lake house. And so things are going to continue to go on you know this is going to pass this isn't going to it's, there's going to be some bumpy spots but it's going to pass and we're going to come out at the end of the at the end of the tunnel the light's going to be there and we're going to be fine yeah you know, the royal royal just got to we'll put be able up to sit together do what and we'll be able to sit together yeah yeah <laughs> sit around the campfire singing kumbaya and maybe have lunch somewhere sometime <laughs> yeah be able to go to lunch again yeah, yeah right, right got time for some numbers i do actually all right uh, this week in real estate, there were 45 new listings came on, five commercial properties, 13 parcels of land, 24 homes came on the market. They came on in a range from 520,000 to 30,000. There's one that came on as active contingent, and I know at least one of those is under contract now. Uh, the average price coming on the market this week was 195. There were 34 sales, two commercial properties, seven parcels of land, 25 homes sold. Those homes sold in a range from 340,000 to 35,000. Average sale price of 177. 168 days on market, but it was still $4.4 million in residential real estate closed this past week. Wow. And it's going to continue for a little while. Um, it's going to slow down a little bit, like I say, because of the lack of travel. Uh, you're not going to maybe have as many impulse 
buyers, but it's moving. 18 properties expired, 23 had price changes. There's 57 pendings. Um, there's currently 452 homes listed on our MLS. 136 in Mountain Home, 26 in Bull Shoals, 10 in Cotter, just to give you an idea. Year to date, there's been 200, this is as of Thursday, there's been 204 homes have sold for $31.8 million. 31.8? 31.8. Average sale price is 156 with 150 days on market. Last year, year to date, there had been 188 homes sold for 27.6 million, uh, 134 days on market, average sale price of 146. So you can see the numbers have been started off the year just going gangbusters. Interest rates are phenomenally low. I mean, it's literally like free money. If you were thinking, well, we want to pay cash for our house, this is like paying cash for your house. And having a little mortgage isn't a bad thing. You can do whatever you want with your cash then. You still want to take a trip? You want to fix the house up? You want to double, make double payments if you want. But it, there's some great opportunities here. and there's some, there's some great houses on the market, as always here. I mean, there's always something. And uh, we're here to help people out. We, can, we run everything from estate sales for people, helping them set up with the movers. All the things that need to be done are the things that we do. Yep. Um, we're there all day, every day. Um, Linda's running, burning that computer up. Yep. I mean, she's, just, she's smoking it. Um, take and a look it's, at and the, the importance uh, now of, of pictures, of people being able to take a look. Uh, there's a little house that we have in Gasville that uh, was on two days, three days, and there were like four showings and all of them were there. Well, we saw the pictures and the pictures look so good. So they, they really can't be overstated, the importance of that. Uh, take a go out, go to retiredarkansas.net. Pull that up, let's go live screen Take a look at quick, uh, the talking. pictures of the listings that we've got on there. We had the whole MLS. Yeah. We didn't take all the pictures, so so don't hold us accountable for that. But we, uh, I mean, we that's really been our hallmark for the years that we've been doing this has really been uh, an important part of what we do. There you go. Pictures are so important, especially in this internet age, especially with people sitting home. You know, they say they're working from home, but you know that they're on Facebook, they're on Amazon, they're on every place else, yeah. but they're also looking for places, okay, where are we going to go next? And we want them, those that want to come here, uh, we want them to come here, we want them to be able to buy your home. Everybody's got the right home for the right time of their life, and we use that because life is changing. Life is constantly changing. It was changing before this. There was a constant change there. People are having babies. People are, have loved ones that they need to go back and care for in other parts of the country. Every scenario. It's, it's, there's a scenario for everything, and we're here to help you make it as easy as you can for you to be able to do that. So give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. Again, the website is retiredtoarkansas.net, and um, you know, we're all, the whole team is here. Everybody's working. Uh, we're doing whatever we can do to help people out. You bet. All right, time for a break. Thank you, Bob. All the way at the other end of the room over there. <laughs> Social distancing on camera. Hey. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 